Um, so, Albert, we got a little taste of what's to come with the way. And the kids are looking forward to talking to Santa yeah. for sure. Felt like today. Hey, man, it's coming. Yeah, that's it. And we're going to light our own tree just a couple tomorrow. blocks away. Millennium mm -hmm. Park, 6 yes. o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> Finally feels like the holidays are in here, doesn't it? Especially with that snow a little earlier on. Let me show you the snow. This is a time lapse from our Midway camera. There is a snow band coming in this morning. At one point, coming in at one inch per hour. Slowing down travel. You see the planes, Southwest Airline planes, a little slow out of the gate into the gate by mid morning and then it all cleared out as we head into this afternoon. Here's an updated look at how much snow fell on average across Cook County. Two to four inches of snowfall. The highest amounts North Shore Edgewater at four inches, 4.2 in Evanston, but also Wakanda coming in at four inches. Officially at O'Hare, just under three inches of snowfall reported and at Midway, two and a half inches. So here in Chicago, snowiest day since January 12th. Most locations above freezing, the exception Michigan City and Laporte at 32. We're going to be above freezing area wide across the uh, area after midnight. And even though we have these little areas of rain coming in off of Lake Michigan, it's just liquid. And this is going to pivot a little bit more off towards the east into northwest Indiana in the overnight. So notice the temperatures pop up by morning here in northwest Indiana in the low 40s, low 40s across Illinois and Chicago. Cloudy skies for tomorrow. And other than a sprinkle, we're mainly dry and it's breezy. So wind chills tomorrow are going to be in the 30s in the afternoon. And no sunshine for tomorrow, though we'll have a few breaks as we head towards this weekend. 46 degrees, uh, mostly cloudy sky on Saturday. Southerly winds are back on Sunday. That's going to bring our temperature up to 51 for the high kickoff for the Bears though noon at Soldier Field at 47 degrees. And again, thanks to these southerly winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Sunday here on CBS, our 3 o'clock game Denver in Vegas. Vegas expecting a partly cloudy sky in mid 60s. Let's talk about Thanksgiving week because a lot of travel is going to be going on and we're looking at below average temperatures, not just Thanksgiving, but beyond that into the first week of December. The only above average temperature day that we have next week is Monday at 48. Monday also comes in with a chance of rain, upper 30s and low 40s for Tuesday and Wednesday. Other than a few flurries, it's going to be okay travel weather, busiest travel day of the year on Wednesday. And look at this, Thursday Thanksgiving, a rain still mix in the, pos in, in the forecast and will be possible. Temperatures in the 30s and the first day of December, which is a week from Sunday, 28. That's the high temperature. So we're locked into this cold air mass for sure. A little bit of a warm up this weekend, but it's still cool. 46 Saturday, 51 on Sunday. Shower opportunities will be around 30% on Monday. A cold, breezy day on Tuesday. Wednesday, again, a few flurries possible late in the day if you're doing some traveling. And a snow rain mix. That oven with that turkey on, it's going to feel nice, right? 37 <laughs> for the high 29 on Thanksgiving night. All right, thanks, Albert. Okay. Well, Ryan, the Bears got to work on a few things before this game coming up Sunday. At least the weather's not looking too bad for Sunday yeah, along the lakefront. That <laughs> That's one yeah. thing. <laughs>